Today is going to be the coolest part of the Odyssey build so far. We were going to order some aluminum to do the gas tank, and then we were like, wait a minute. Aluminum is expensive. <laughs> and this is a lot of aluminum right here. Oh, yeah. We may use other parts of this snowmobile for something, but the tunnel and, and chassis we're never going to use for anything because it sucks. Yeah, we'll take the seat off, take all the stuff out of there, and then cut a big old section out of the tunnel and build a gas tank out of it. Heck, <laughs> I'm so stoked for this. For everyone new to our channel, this is the RMK that we got for $900, used all winter, and we've basically used every single piece of this thing. There's a few pieces left, but we're probably going to use them, including this brake set up here. And after that, then we use this aluminum. I mean, basically, it's just these skis that you probably won't Yeah, use. and these trailing arms, which there's nothing we can do with those. The front shocks are going to, going to go on the Jeep. Mm -hmm. um, the track setup we haven't used yet, but I'm sure we'll use it for something. Hopefully this is enough aluminum here, which it should be more than enough, uh, because it goes all the way forward to here underneath this bulkhead, but there's way too many holes in it to be worth it, and too many rivets to have to drill out. So I'll just cut it off right there essentially, and we'll just take this part away and we don't have to disassemble the entire thing. The rivet master. Just drilled out a, a couple rivets, you know, <laughs> just one or two. <laughs> Grind hard carpentry. Grind hard carpentry. <laughs> Wow, once you take it down to the usable parts, that was a lot of work for a little swag. Yeah, well, I can use some of that still. It's just, you know, yeah. less. And maybe some of that. Yeah, between, the, between those piles. <laughs> well, this is not necessarily the recommended way to bend the metal, but... I don't know which is funnier, the way you're doing it or that it's actually working. <laughs> so hear my words, and I will say, come outside, come out and play. Oh God, girl, you can make me stay. It's gonna have a lot of volume. That's the idea. Yeah, um, I'm gonna kind of mold it around as much as possible to get as much volume as we can. Cause that 800 is going to be thirsty. Riding tight. Yeah. Got a little bit of clear. Well, and the, the tank can it can move, you know, back a little bit once it's clearance yeah. for the exhaust. And it will sink down once this edge is trimmed too. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, we're putting a gas tank right underneath the exhaust pipe. <laughs> no, it's not the best idea ever, but you know. Just gonna send it. <laughs>
obviously there's a lot of holes in this, um, and I need to weld them all shut. And I'm gonna do that now before I cover up the top of it. Obviously filling holes in anything with a welder isn't super great, but it's even worse in aluminum. So I came up with a solution. I looked down at the floor, and there's about a thousand of these drilled out rivets. So I just take one of those and stick it back in the hole there. And get my finger out of the way before it burns. I've been uh, welding and grinding hard, as usual. It's all welded up and mostly sanded down. We'll go ahead and fill it with water and see if it leaks, or rather, see how much it leaks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, odds this thing actually holds water. Comment below. And no cheating, you know it's tempting. <laughs> I'm not seeing any drips yet. Wow. Also, this thing is gonna hold a lot of fuel. Yeah. Really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so we have two GoPros, one with the waterproof door on and one without it. And that's the one that we just put in the gas tank. We're gonna try again with the other one. Leave this one out in the sun for a while. See if she comes back to life. What's the verdict? Uh, well, it leaks, but drastically less than I expected. <laughs> That's good. I mean, this is my first real attempt at aluminum welding. Before this, I've only done like little bitty pieces like that big. Let's try that again with uh, the one with the door. capacity I would say is uh, seven gallons that's plenty I love that we have a serial number that's amazing yeah that is awesome <laughs> <laughs> we should take the title for the snowmobile and this the whole thing into the DMV and be like uh, so we have a bin number here can we get a title <laughs> like a gas tank. Well, I don't know if it's really looking like a gas tank. It's looking like something. <laughs> <laughs> I made a couple of mounts here. I still have to make a couple more mounts. I just have to figure out where they're gonna go. If we'd bought any sort of gas tank, we would have gotten like, I don't know, a gallon or two at best.
starting to get the hang of this. Uh, yeah, this side looks really good. Yeah, I'm more or less proud of that bead and like sections of this one. Got everything welded up and sanded down, looking all reasonably pretty. I'm just gonna put the cap all the way at the corner, largely uh, because it's just the strongest place to do it. It's not gonna be as flimsy. Um, and again, farther away from the exhaust pipe. So, got a hole saw that's sort of close to the right size. So we'll start with that and then round it out a bit with the die grinder. Hope I can get that back out of there. <laughs> Shoot. Wop, wop, wop. I finally give up on this. I tried to fix the last four major leaks and only managed to fix two of them. The other two I made worse. So uh, I decided to put as much pressure to it as I could until it exploded. And that seam just blew out there. And obviously this gas tank would never experience 100 PSI, but I just don't trust it. There's many ways I don't mind dying, but in a raging inferno is you know, well harnessed into a seat. Not not the way you want to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> not exactly. Uh, you know, wasted parts of four days of working on this. Uh, the tunnel from the snowmobile, this thing, uh, a bunch of you guys' time, but I learned a lot and uh, you know, you can't win them all. <laughs> Maybe the process was entertaining. We got to show our failures too. Yeah. Exactly. Hopefully. Yeah, now it's going to be a really pretty piece of scrap. So I'll basically just plug this all in the way it was and then um, hook up anything else we need. But for now, it'll essentially just be this just kind of hanging there near the engine just so we can test start it and then go about figuring what we don't need. That looks awesome. I didn't realize how thick it was. Yeah, <laughs> we might have to add that in like... Yeah, definitely. There. That'd be super Which, what's sweet. What's actually really cool is there's enough wire to reach up there already. Whoa, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No. It sucked right back in there. No. <laughs> Alrighty, time All right. for the moment of truth a bit. Yeah, hopefully, take two. I tied a much better knot this time with a little bit of slack so it uh, won't pull through, hopefully. Um, everything's bolted back together. Everything's hooked up, the fuel's on this time. It wasn't last time, which is okay. It wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Time to get it. Heck yeah. It runs. <laughs> well, that's enough to know that I don't have to pull the engine again, so now we can fill it with water. And we can throw on the belt and get some power to the wheels. Yeah. Got the belt on. Got some water in there. Tuck these wires out of the way so you don't get caught in anything. When do you think the last time this diff had power to it? I guess at least 20 years. <laughs> you never know. Turn the key on.
Success. It's geared so low. It's gonna accelerate like a rocket ship. <laughs> it's so legit. The brake definitely needs to be bled some more. The rear brake is pretty inadequate. But yeah, overall, I'd say that's a great success. I mean, we knew this engine ran fantastic because we drove the snowmobile all winter and never had a problem with it. But it's always very satisfying to have it run <laughs> well when it's put in where it's going to be. The fuel tank was a massive failure, so we redeemed it with a successful engine start and tire spin. I really wish this one hadn't been flopping so much. I would like to rev it out more, but that was scary. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was going crazy. Well guys, that is it for this episode. We want to wait until we have the rear tires to actually do the next episode. So we have a new seat coming, five point harness coming, and tires. So the next episode is going to be super interesting, but that's going to take a while to get here. So next week, we are going to be rebuilding this. <laughs> And then the Friday after that, we'll be straight back to the Odyssey. Yeah. That's the plan. Gotta wait on the mailman, guys. Sorry about that. But I think you're gonna enjoy seeing this rip again, too, so. <laughs> I, I think uh, if numbers mean anything, everybody's gonna be more excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks for watching, guys.